and uh, the idea question of the robot and waypoint question. And motor control and waypoint navigate the use compact sensor and GNSS RTK data. And integrated system between the robot and waypoint position is less than the threshold value.
on the map interface start creating uh, moving animation of the robot's location. The user can uh, control robot with waypoint builder, so he or she can set waypoints and send them to the robot. Uh, let's say we have a security robot. We can also set patrolling rules. They are being set the same way as the waypoints, but we can uh, set intro modes and the application will create a route that the robot keeps following until it has passed the last uh, interval. It also uh, has safety features such as start, stop, pause, and play. So a robot has to be started before it can be operated, and we can pause it uh, while it's moving if we want. We also have an emergency stop button if something happens and we need And here is the communication diagram. So user sets waypoints in the web application. The waypoints are being sent and stored in the Firebase where the robot listens and gets the waypoints, notifies the ROS, and makes it full. The robot gets its location with the DNS RCK. And that position, latitude, and longitude are stored in the Firebase. Web application listens to the Firebase for a robot location. When that location changes, the robot will be rendered here on the land with, the, uh, with all the information uh, it has. And of course, the user can see that information. And now we have a video demonstration about uh, how the web application